almost home. Just one final reptile to face. Hadanar, take us into port. Sir? All right, listen up, you sea sprites! Ah, Captain, it's good you have returned. Were you successful? Uh, yes, Master Magi, here are the reagents you requested. Excellent, let's take a look. Yes, yes, excellent. Payment is on the table behind you. I'll be in touch if I require your services again, Master Magi. One more thing, Captain. How fared Kalana Hartwell on your little trip? I, uh, I regret that she fell during our withdrawal from the mire. Hmm, shame. Oh well, on your way, Captain. Harthen, you have been chosen for a mission of utmost importance. Due to Kalana's failings with the dwarven upstart, the gnawing creatures have reoccupied their burrows within the Silver Mountains. Their incessant excavations twist the weave, shifting the way it flows and causing disruptions across the land, but specifically here at Torquilora. While under control now, the past has shown that further disruptions could be catastrophic. Your task is to lead a group of volunteers into the mountain to find a way to stabilize the ley lines. If the ley lines cannot be stabilized, you are to find a way to prevent the dwarves from digging further. Permanently would be preferable, but temporarily would buy further time. To further make it worth your while, as if serving Torquilora were not enough, there are plenty of valuables entombed within the mountain. If some of those happen to find their way out and into elven hands, well, that certainly would sweeten the deal, would it not? All right, that's a lot to process. Do we know an unwatched way into the mountain? Well, that's the easy part. I have obtained rare reagents from the Dreadmire at considerable personal expense that will allow me to scry a suitable location within the mountain and then portal you and your plucky band of volunteers within its depths. Unfortunately, it's an incredibly costly set of spells and as such, a one-way trip. You'll have to find your own way out. Isn't teleportation magic like that incredibly dangerous? Oh, of course. That's why I'm not going myself. You, however, are expendable, yet I have the utmost confidence in your abilities. If you play this right, you'll come out the other end fabulously wealthy and heroically famous. The elf who saved Tor Kalora from certain destruction. Of course, it's all my plan, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of credit to share around. Asked for 300 sacks of wheat. What he supplied was 5% short. Bollocks, I delivered the 300 sacks of grain as requested. Sacks or sacks? <sighs> Oakley, the merchant, you're to supply the missing 5%. Miller Berg. You're to supply the man with an appropriate set of scales. Next! Lord King, thank you for seeing me. Arcrevis Dolmere, what can I do for you? Well, Lord King, we're beginning to reoccupy Deepstone Delve, but so far, no efforts have been made to make record of those dwarves who lie scattered through its depths due to the orc invasion. I wish to descend with my apprentice and make record of the fallen so they may be properly honored and interred. I see, a worthy task. But with the troubles on the surface, I lack the dwarves to see you properly escorted. Oh, no need for an escort, Lord King. No, no, all I need is my apprentice and we'll see it done. Not bloody likely. We have no idea what dangers still lie beneath us with 300 years of orcs and who knows what squatting within our halls. You're not to go down there without an escort. I forbid ye. Oh, oh I see. Archivist, your task has merit. I cannot provide you with an escort. 
But if you can find a suitable number of volunteers to guard you and your apprentice, I will sanction your expedition. <laughs>